Elon Musk has recently taken to social media to ask if he can use the Large Hadron Collider. Within the past century, our technology has advanced to extraordinary levels. 100 years ago the idea that we'd reached the moon was nothing more than a fantasy, yet now it's a fact of our everyday existence. With every single day we as a united species come closer to laying claim to planets in our solar system and to exploring more space to see what's truly lurking out there beyond our range. In recent years, the Large Hadron Collider and the researchers working in the complex have made a variety of interesting discoveries, and these findings seem to have grabbed the attention of Elon. He recently posted the following statement, Please let me use the CERN Large Hadron Collider. I am normal and can be trusted with a demonic technology unlike anything the world has ever seen. Although it's very likely that the comment was made as a joke, there's some who believe that we shouldn't be messing around with this type of technology. One of the biggest worries is that the Large Hadron Collider could create something that would end the world, with one example being that of a black hole. Sam posted the following statement on their website. The Large Hadron Collider will not generate black holes in the cosmological sense. However, some theories suggest that the formation of tiny quantum black holes may be possible. The observation of such an event would be thrilling in terms of our understanding of the universe, and would be perfectly safe. NASA continued with the following on their website. First of all, yes, it's true that the Large Hadron Collider might create microscopic black holes. But for the record, it could not have created one on its first day. That's because physicists at CERN didn't steer beams of protons into each other to create high-energy collisions. September 10th was just a warm-up run. Today, the collider has still not produced any collisions, and it's the extreme energy of these collisions up to 14 tera electron volts that could potentially create a microscopic black hole. Actually, physicists will be ecstatic if it creates a tiny black hole. It would be the first experimental evidence to support an elegant but unproven and controversial theory of everything called string theory. In string theory, electrons, photons and all the other fundamental particles are different vibrations of infinitesimal strings in ten dimensions, nine space dimensions and one time dimension. The other six space dimensions are hidden by one explanation or another, for example by being curled up. Some physicists help string theory's mathematical elegance and its ability to integrate gravity with other forces of nature. The widely accepted standard model of particle physics does not include gravity, which is one reason why it does not predict that the Large Hadron Collider would create a gravitational collapse point. Particle physics may not sound like the most interesting concepts, but there are some fascinating developments happening in the field as of late November 2021 which are bound to gauge the interest of even the least scientifically minded among us. Particle physics aims to gain insight into the universe by looking at the smallest units we can, in order to gain an insight as to how things work on a much larger scale. However, not all particles are equal. Some are much more elusive and much trickier to study than others, making them all the more exciting. Neutrinos are some atomic particles that are fairly similar to electrons. However, they differ in two key ways. They have no electrical charge, and their mass is so minuscule that it could even be considered to be zero. What's most unique about neutrinos is the sheer quantity of them. We have billions of them moving through each one of us right now. They're the single most abundant particle in the universe. However, despite the huge numbers and then moving through the universe at quite literally the speed of light, it's very rare that a neutrino interacts with any sort of matter, making them incredibly difficult to detect. Due to their hard to prove nature but us knowing that they're there, they've earned the nickname ghost particles, though their supernatural status may be diminishing in light of a new study. The Large Hadron Collider, the most recent addition to the CERN Accelerator Complex, is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It works through superconducting magnets, and is based in the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Switzerland. This record-breaking machine is now making history once again, 
with the Large Hadron Collider successfully detecting candidate neutrinos for the first time. Not just in the Large Hadron Collider, but in any particle collider. Jonathan Feng, a physicist with the University of California, Irvine, the co-leader of the FASTA collaboration, said the following. Prior to this project, no sign of neutrinos has ever been seen at a particle complex. Six neutrino interactions were detected by the collider and were spotted using the neutrino subdetector. This research shows us the sheer capability of the Large Hadron Collider and opens up new doors for researching the little-known neutrinos at such high energies, hopefully letting us continue to dive deeper into their roles, purpose and structure. While we've not detected neutrinos in any particle collider before now, we have managed to see them interact very rarely in some other circumstances. So what do you make of this interesting discovery? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.